season but I have to give you uh, insight to this I don't know I'm gonna call it vision for lack of a better word even though I don't really like using that word but for some time now um, last six months or so quite often I keep getting a flash just an instantaneous flash of me walking through an end time scenario it, it's only the as quick as that probably goes away quicker than a, than the amount of time it took to explain it but the way I feel in that moment the way I'm dressed correlates to a dream that I've also had ever since I can remember generally once a year but in the last year it's been a couple of times which um, anyway and in that again it's a short thing it's an end time scenario but my mind has the ability to elevate me and fly with concentration and practice and failure and but it's achieved and it's always chasing an evil entity which is the only thing that can see me in that moment and I can never catch it nothing more seen than a shadow but again tonight that just quick flash in the mind and no I don't do heavy drugs and no I don't drink um, anyway uh, that vision again of me walking through an end time scenario I don't know where it just it's a it's gray and it's a mess and then along with that came that voice that I needed to share that with you there's all kinds of indicators. You don't need me to tell you what's at hand. But I don't ignore my gut anymore either. When my gut says do something, I do it. Because every time in the past that I didn't, there was a cost for that mistake. <laughs> and the cost, if this were to be a mistake, and not share that with you, would be you. You would be the cost. Because you wouldn't hear the message and you wouldn't act appropriately. Much love. Many thanks, and uh, I'll see you soon. You have to put your mind upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop, and you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who